Hello and welcome to Irish Football Fan TV. We're here with the Cabri's Kick Fit programme. I'm joined by Abby Larkin. Uh, I suppose you're one of the ambassadors here today. What's the, what's the kind of feel like for today being for yourself? Um, yeah, it's amazing. I think it's definitely a big opportunity for me to, uh, to become an ambassador. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to see what it brings. Just in terms of you know girls and the inclusion and getting them playing and stuff like that, how important is it now to see girls coming through? And obviously you were coming through the last year. You've had a huge year yourself, but... Seeing that you were going to be a role model for other kids, you probably didn't have too many when you were growing up. But now seeing that, what's that? How important is that for I suppose kids growing up now and girls growing up? Yeah, it's very important. I think um, we've definitely gotten a lot more um, youngsters coming through, and the talent is uh, surreal. I think it's definitely grown, um, and especially women's football in Ireland is definitely you know going up. And um, yeah, especially seeing obviously the adults, uh, the women here today, um, obviously they're like moms and they've got kids and. Um, it just shows how much they want to, to come up here and you know enjoy football again and um, yeah I've seen that they were all with clubs as well which is amazing so yeah, it's definitely grown a lot Yeah I, re I recently was at a, a cabin to Ely with Niamh Fahey your yes. old teammate uh, and just, just to see the amount of girls that are playing there it was, was unbelievable and they're just ever since probably the World Cup there just yeah. seems to be a real drive and obviously we knew that there was going to be a bit of a kick from it but it's great to see that continuously now that there's such a push for it yeah, no, I definitely think after the World Cup, um, it definitely exposed us a lot more. And I think, uh, yeah, the exposure we got was amazing. And um, the amount of women that are coming in now is, it's great. And yeah, there's a lot of, you can tell, there's a lot of uh, kids and all, there's more summer camps and there's more girls signing up for that. And yeah, it just shows that all of us like can motivate young girls to do that. So Yeah, and there definitely seems to be a lot more kind of girls' programmes directed more so, like getting girls playing as well, maybe some that that don't necessarily play a sport, but they're trying to drive that yeah. now, which is good. A lot of kind of bigger companies and businesses are doing that too. Yeah, definitely. I think obviously with sponsors and stuff, I think they're definitely including their, themselves more in women's football. And yeah, I think it's amazing. It shows us that, um, you know, women can do as much as men can. So Yeah. Well, talk to me about, you know, we go back to this time last year, um, you know, and the year that you've had, you know, you, you're, you're playing Shamrock Rovers, you're in the World Cup. Um, you made a big impact in the in the World Cup, and then you obviously you've moved away. So kind of talk me through the last year in your own words. Yeah, I mean it's been a lot, <laughs> a lot happened. Um, yeah, obviously it was in World Cup, um, and after that I think it all kind of blew up. I obviously thought it was time to leave Ireland and try, you know, go abroad and try play there. Test obviously, yourself. Yeah, I went to obviously Glasgow. That was a challenge, and um, I think yeah, I think I'm definitely loving it now over in London after Glasgow so I think yeah. people maybe underestimate like even even a lot of lads that go away quite young I think you're only 19 or 20 yeah, yeah. 19. 19 Um, so like a lot of lads that go away even if it's only over to England people just think that oh it's only over across the water yeah. but you're there a lot of the time you spend a lot of time probably on your own after training and stuff yeah. like that where people don't see that kind of side of it no it's definitely I mean it's a full-time job like you're doing it for a living and yeah, it's. I mean, it's obviously tough mentality, your mental wise and physical wise. Um, you know, you have to look after yourself um, well, and you know, you don't have family over there sometimes, so it it is tough. But yeah, it's, you have to try and make friends and mingle with people. And, yeah. Yeah, I suppose you have moved to Crystal Palace. You've got Hayley Nolan there. You've got Izzy there. Who obviously, your big mates with. We see that a lot on the on the Ireland camps. You, you know, you seem to have great crack when you're yeah. together. Obviously, that would have helped you settle in there at, at Crystal Palace. So, how has that been? Obviously, he's got promoted, and that must be, be amazing. But, but I suppose from there as well, kicking on now is that what your aim is? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, as you said about Hayley and Izzy, it's it was so nice. Do you have one more player teammate there? One more um, Irish team? It's just Izzy and Hayley. Okay. Yeah. It's oh, yeah, definitely um, really nice to have them there. Uh, obviously, Izzy came a week just before me, so she was also new. So it was nice to be able to, you know, blend in with her as well. Um, obviously, I lived with Haley for that season, um, and yeah, she's she's. I think we've all just gotten really close, and um, which I love. And um, but yeah, looking forward to the next season. And just with with Ireland, then um, you know we've we've seen some pretty big milestones: the World Cup, the Aviva. The crowds, um, I suppose, from your own point of view, how much would it mean to you to become one of the mainstay players now going forward over the next couple of years? Maybe not like instantly, but like over the next couple of years. Yeah, obviously that'd be amazing. I mean, I'm still young, 19, so um, yeah, hopefully in the next couple of years uh, or more that you know 
I'd be up there. But um, right now, I'm really liking where I'm at. I mean, I'm young and I'm just loving it. I'm experiencing a lot, a lot more from the girls that I'm playing with, and yeah, I'm taking it all in. So. Yeah, and talk to me, Sinead Farrelly retired from international football. You seem to be quite close with her, so yeah. I'm sure you're devastated that she's gone now. She's not part of your your crew. <laughs> no, one hundred percent. Um, I loved Sinead. She was an amazing person and player. Um, the kindest I'll ever met, I think. And yeah, I hope she um does well now. I got him, and you know, gonna miss her international anyway. I think uh, a lot of fans are. You know, she only played about eight games, yeah. I think, in the end, and and so many people had so many things to say about her, like yeah. what how. How well she had done in the games that she did play yeah, and stuff like that. Unbelievable, yeah, unbelievable player. Yeah, I suppose. Well, just uh, to wrap it up, then, um, you know, going forward, you're you're off for the summer now, are you? Uh, yeah. What are the, what are the plans? You get a couple of holidays, or, or what? I've um, got one holiday with one of my best mates uh, going to Cyprus, so that should be a nice break. Uh, but yeah, just coming back then and chilling. And would you yeah. get a chance to catch up with the the Ring's End community? We did a video with them yeah. last year, and they were just. I think it was your auntie and your uncle and your, a lot of your cousins and some of your friends and best friends and stuff like that. And they all were just so delighted to see you doing so well. So it must yeah. be amazing to have a, a, a kind of family and I suppose backbone like that supporting you. Yeah, no, it's it's so, um, you know, relieving to have that support system around me. Uh, you know, they all care so much for me. I've got a big family. So, uh, yeah, it's nice to know that they even... Even my, some of my family doesn't even like football or doesn't even know anything about it. They're still like, oh, well done in your game and stuff. So, yeah, it's nice to have that. Yeah, well, listen, that's amazing. Uh, guys, thanks very much for watching. Big shout out to Abby. Thank you. Um, yeah, I'll let you go and enjoy your summer. Thanks, thanks very much. Right? <laughs>